spiritism works. Last week, taking from what work my temple had done a month prior, maybe a month and a half prior, where I had set out with the Child Commission of Spirits using the image of the uh, Divine Child and a couple select psalms to target pedophiles and pedophile rings and to defend the children that had been taken, to pray for their release, to pray for ways that they could be, they could escape, they could find their way home. Well, last week, I restarted it using that same energy that we'd got going. However, in addition, I went to the guardian angels of all those children taken, missing, and kidnapped. And I asked for divine intercession that those children taken would not only be helped by the commission of child spirits, but each one of those children's guardian angels, whoever and whatever they may be, may be fully activated and brought to bear against the situation. And look what's happened this week. Look what's happened as these candles have burned. Look what's happened as the Psalms have been said. In particular, Psalm 56. Georgia, one of the largest child rescue operations ever. Massive this week. And then this morning in Australia. And one other that I'm hearing about that I'm going to let the news confirm or deny. But look at these candles. Look at the soot and the black and the dark. You know how much work it takes? Do you understand the opposition spiritually, energetically, that you take on when you battle, when you go to spiritual warfare? to end one of the most corrupt, vile atrocities ever, to show its face, to put its, its claw on humanity. I have had lupus flare-ups like I cannot believe this week. Migraine after migraine, it's bad. It's bad, and I can tell exactly when it began because it began when the top of that guardian angel candle started to get black and as it's gotten blacker my fibromyalgia has gotten worse but does that stop me no no not for a fucking second it doesn't stop me because what i'm doing is more than the sum of my hurts what my temple is doing is more than the sum of my physical pain. I don't mind suffering. If I suffer for a good cause, I don't mind making others suffer as long as their suffering is justified. I want you to get it. I want you to understand fully and completely my work and the work of my spiritual temple, what we have committed to. Look at what's happening. When I started this back in 2009, I was ridiculed, called crazy, called a lunatic, a maniac, for even mentioning that there would be a global pedophile child network. Back in 2009, before it was fucking cool to talk about. But now, God, it seems like everybody knows about it. That's fine. I don't mind being a pioneer. I don't mind being a trailblazer. I don't mind being tip of the spear. I don't mind being the first man out because I'm going to be the last man standing. My spiritual temple kicks so much righteous ass. I am in awe. 
I am struck. Spiritism works. Prayer works. Magic works. It took a long time because no one had thought, really, to use the occult against the elites. I'm the man who made that happen. I am the man who was ignored. Because what I did back then was so fucking crazy that no one wanted to touch it except for a brave couple souls. Some of them are still around. Some of them are still supporting me. Others have backstabbed me. Wow, how stupid they look now. But here we are. Together. My temple and all those, those brave, brave men and women who see my videos, read our blogs, who join us. This is the spiritual war that I fight. I can't show you videos of the physical one. Not yet, maybe. <laughs> I think that day's coming. <laughs> I think that day's coming. But for right now, I will suffer gladly as long as children go home are pulled out of cages, are unshackled, their chains broken, and their offenders punished. If you want to join with this work, this work that is obviously gaining stronger and stronger momentum, the gravitas is becoming palpable. Then join me this Monday where I will obtain yet another Divine Child candle and I will obtain another Guardian Angel candle. If you can't find them, that's fine. A white candle. But acknowledge that you are lighting this in the name of God the Father, the Mother, the Son, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you are doing so to give light and elevation to the spirits of the Child Commission, that they may go do their work, and they may go rescue all the children currently being held against their will, tortured, hunted, maimed, raped, God knows what else and things I don't feel like saying in this present moment. But also ask that their guardian angels be activated as well, whatever they may be. Yes, we're looking at some Christian iconography here, but not all of it. And at this point, God is God. At least when you come to something like Spiritism, something like Sanse, Puerto Rican Voodoo. And so that is what we're asking for. So Monday, if you can't find the same candles or you can't find any save but one white candle, light that in the name of God for the commission of the child spirits and for the guardian angels of all the children that have been taken. They find their way home, that they find a way to escape, that they find comfort, that somebody somewhere takes notice of them, that somehow in some way their imprisonment and their torment comes to an end. Let's keep pushing. Let's never stop. Let's not let the naysayers, those who are jealous, get in our way. Or worse, those energies out there who enjoy and are set to protect 
the elite and the global and the global pedophile rings let not those spirits get in the way to deceive you or to block you in any form or any fashion that you shall cast out all evil that all evil spirits before you shall kneel and bow to the power of the Most High because you are a priest or a priestess of that which is ineffable and created all things and to which all knees shall bow. And then you'll go about and you'll do your work fearless, full of compassion and righteous wrath. And after this, I want you to read Psalm 56 for the dismantling of wicked plots. I will post Psalm 56 so that you have it and you could read it. And every day that these candles burn, no matter what condition, because they're because they'll get black. I don't give a fuck what other so-called hoodoo and other spiritualists might say when they they haven't ever been engaged in spiritual warfare on this level so they can't fucking speak to what's happening and i know the majority of them and they won't touch the stuff with a 10 foot fucking pole not even a thousand foot pole i wonder why no i really don't i know the condition of their hearts they're fearful. I don't want them on my team anyways. So as your candles crack or get black, sooty, as you hear horrible things whispered to you in the night, understand that those evil forces are bearing against you because they don't want your intercession. They don't want... To be, dis to be defeated and dispelled by you. They want this evil to continue. But because you are righteous, because you are holy, because you stand with the Most High, and because you have the spine and the fire in your heart, you won't stop. You will continue. And we will rail and rail and rail against the wicked until the wicked are broken and begging for mercy at our feet. At that point, it's between you and God what you do. I know what I do. I don't question my decisions. It is what it is. Join with me Monday. We will do this again and again and again and again. Because this seems to be hitting a powerful nerve. And yes, there's so much other. There's so much other evil. So much other things happening in this world. But right now, I am focusing on this. Join me in my temple. And let's once again... Strike a black eye against the global child trafficking network. Hit them so hard that they'll never forget. And watch the elites tremble in fear as they see their empire crumble before us. Aibobo.